you're watching 8-Bit Days a Week and I'm back and if the last video had me focusing on third-party titles this time I'm gonna be choosing uh, first-party ones of course and let's see let's start it off with all right let's go ahead Streets of Rage Let's make it interesting. I wonder if there are differences with the Japanese version. Well, actually I'm sure there are, I just can't remember. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. Bare Knuckle. Aside from the obvious. I'm actually not sure if this technique is effective, I just, um, I don't know, I went ahead and gave it a try. Hmm, maybe it's effective for the first stage. You know, because if you go like this, um, if they have a longer life bar, yeah, you'll end up making them um, go far and then they have to stand up again then you do the same thing again All right, well I guess you know how beat em up goes My character looks like the guy from Riot Zone as well. I don't know which came first though. Or I guess it's a generic um, tough guy look. So who's excited for Streets of Rage 4? Show of hands. Like. Or something. But to be honest I'm not quite sure yet about the art style. I mean they look great but it doesn't feel like uh, it's a Streets of Rage game. If, uh, I'm not sure if I'm getting my point across there but um, what is it? They look cartoony? loses the gritty look of the series. Kind of like uh, how Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 are. Uh, Diablo 3 comes across uh, like a very colorful game. I suppose it's at some point it's better. It's not too drab like uh, Diablo 2. Or it's too dark, but I think that's the point. So some may like it, some may don't. Um, um, myself, I'm not sure yet. Until I actually play it, maybe. Oh come on. This guy is just annoying me. Come here, come here, come here! Oh 
Ah, good luck. Alright, just a little more. That guy knows his spacing, eh? Anyway, alright. Let's try another. Oops. Let's try another game. Oh, wait, I just reset. And before I do, let me go ahead and revert to English. Alright, let's see. First party title. Here we go. Space Harrier 2. Should be a fun game. I did not see that coming. Get ready. I'm mostly wondering why it's uh, stage 12 right away. Maybe I'm misremembering something. Hmm. Playing this game made me want made me think uh there's no afterburner is not there? Hang on, and uh, the normal outrun. Hmm. Those are huge omissions. Get ready. Get ready. But anyway, I got. I like what we got in return. We got more third-party titles instead of the usual ones. It's like. We need to be reminded that uh, Sega Genesis was more than just Sonic. I know that's the most popular, but you know there's more yeah, to <laughs> the Mega Drive than uh, Sonic. It's kind of like in the Nintendo consoles. There are more. There are more titles than just Mario. Get ready. Get ready. And I'd rather be trying those out. Find myself a enjoyable title. That's not the usual. And I'm pretty sure this isn't the stage one. <laughs> I don't know what I chose there. Anyway, let's try another title. Alright, first party. Uh huh. We have Shinobi here. Um, I always forget though, is this the one that's based on the arcade? Or. No, I think this is the. Oh, was it? I can't remember. The US version, I think, um, has uh, Shinobi 3. Honestly, I can't tell which one got the better deal <laughs> between the two. They're both good. Terrible, am I?
object. It's a good thing I got that one up the ogre. Going the heck out of me. I hope you're still a one up. Oh, good. was really incredibly horrible. Okay, 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 let's change it. Ah, uh, let's see. So we try in Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Space Harrier. Let's see, what else is a... Ah, Columns. It's their puzzle game, supposedly an answer to Tetris because Tetris became sort of um, exclusive to the Game Boy for a time. I'd rather play Puyo Puyo though. No strategy for this game. <laughs> no strategy at all. is kind of horrible though. It's very boring. Oh, let's see, how do I position this like this? Okay, not bad. No! Yep, you can tell I'm not really into this game. Uh, this one I have memories with. Uh, my friend had the Game Gear version of this. And I just tried it for a few times and then I just got really tired of it at once. It, it doesn't have quite the addictive quality that... Um, Tetris has. So, not all puzzle games are the same, really. I think that should be obvious. No, 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 no. Okay, I made a mistake again. Oh, combination. 
Ooh, what's this? All right. Lucky. That was pure luck. I'm sorry, I have to cut that short. Oh, honestly, I wasn't having having fun with it already. So it's better to play this one. Puyo Puyo. All right. Um, let's have one more game. Let's see. All right, here we go. Golden X. I'm curious though why did they choose Golden X1? Wasn't too much better. Ugh. <laughs> Trying to skip the lines there results in that one. Anyway, as I was saying, I know there were complaints about 3 being terrible, but uh, I know 2 was supposedly better than 1, so I wonder why they chose to include 1 over 2. say though I enjoy um, Streets of Rage more than this when it comes to beat-em-ups how about you guys which guys did, which beat-em-up did you prefer the bare knuckle series or the golden axe series this now. Too bad I didn't get it maxed out. That should be it for this video showcasing the first party titles included on the Sega Genesis Mini. And um, so, what did I play today? Streets of Rage 2, Columns, Space Harrier 2, Golden Axe, and um, Revenge of Shinobi. And I, of course, I like Streets of Rage 2 the best out of all of them. And, uh, watch out for the next video soon. And please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. You're watching 8 bit days a week. See you next video.